Environmental regulators in Maine are planning to undertake a statewide investigation to find concentrations of forever chemicals, also known as PFAS. The investigation stems from the state's efforts to mitigate these chemicals. They're a problem in parts of the state due to the long-standing use of municipal sludge and paper mill waste from farm fertilizer. The state set aside $30 million to test for the chemicals and installed filtration systems in areas with contaminated water. Now, a study into forever chemicals is giving a number of consumers pause before putting on makeup. Researchers at the University of Notre Dame found more than three quarters of waterproof mascara, nearly two thirds of foundations and liquid lipsticks they tested have high levels of PFAS chemicals. Wow. The compounds used to increase a product's durability and wear are linked to cancer, immune system damage and other health problems. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has more. They are industrial compounds that are used in countless products, including nonstick cookware, carpets, furniture, as well as firefighting foams. Exposure to PFAS chemicals, which are showing up in water supplies throughout the country, has been linked in federal studies to cancer, reproductive harm, and damage to the immune system. Another area of growing concern, cosmetics. A recent study by the University of Notre Dame found that almost half of the makeup tested by researchers contain the harmful chemicals. Based on what we know about these chemicals, they shouldn't be in products at all. David Andrews is a senior scientist with the Environmental Working Group, a Washington nonprofit that has worked to restrict PFAS. Previously, Andrews worked with Graham Peasley, the principal investigator of the Notre Dame study, researching PFAS in food wrappers. Researchers tested more than 200 products and discovered compounds in 52% of them. The study did not list the brands which were purchased from big box retailers in the U.S. and Canada. The highest levels of fluorine, an indicator of PFAS, were found in makeup designed to stay on longer and marketed as wear-resistant, long-lasting, and waterproof. They were detected at the highest levels in uh, waterproof, long-lasting mascara, lipstick-type products. Also, nearly 90% of the makeup products tested lacked information about these ingredients on their product labels. Now, at this time, scientists are not sure how much consumers are being exposed to the chemicals by putting these products on their skin. One thing for sure, they say, that any of these chemicals will end up in sensitive areas. And this is a really of significant interest and, and, and of concern for, for the public and people who, who apply cosmetics, especially to your face and, and your lips and, and your eyes. Um, because we know that, the, that PFAS are so incredibly toxic at low concentrations. In July, Maine became the first state to ban all PFAS from being intentionally added to any product sold in our state. That law will take effect in 2030. The sale of new carpets or fabric treatments with PFAS are prohibited as of January of 2023. Patrick McCroy is the deputy director of Defender Health, a national nonprofit based in Portland that works to eliminate toxic chemicals in food products and water. And that will allow us to have a better sense of where we should be targeting efforts to uh, replace PFAS with safer alternatives. The FDA does not require pre-market safety testing or registration of product ingredients in cosmetics. It relies on manufacturers to ensure that their products are safe. Consumers, meanwhile, are encouraged to look for products that say PFAS free. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. A bill co-sponsored by Senator Susan Collins seeking to ban the toxic chemicals is also making its way through Congress. We have links to that legislation and more information on PFAS on our website and mobile app.